These building inspectors need to give the go-ahead before work on laying a concrete floor at this construction site can continue. So, has problem irgendwo gegeben? Nee. Dürfte eigentlich auch nicht, ne? The city of Hamburg has hired Markus Wetzel to make sure this building is safe once it's finished. Wetzel studies the plans carefully to make sure they match standards. Today, he's checking steel bars used to reinforce concrete. The concreting won't happen until the bars have been fixed according to norms and are in the proper place. If necessary, I won't give permission to pour. That could mean the cement truck having made the trip in vain. Wetzel examines the floor meter by meter. He pays close attention to the support columns. Each of them has to carry up to 800 tons. This spider's web of steel could be confusing, but Wetzel is very experienced. He worked as an engineer for 10 years before becoming an inspector. This office building will be seven stories high when it's finished. This is the third floor. Wetzel has found a problem. He thinks the floor should be reinforced in one spot with another steel bar. A foreman makes sure his order is carried out. The building inspector costs from 80 to 100 euros an hour and is paid by the building owner. You get the impression that the construction workers know what they're doing and work well together. Steel fixers have suffered from negative press since tunnel walls collapsed during construction work on the Cologne subway train network. Workers were strongly suspected of having stolen large quantities of reinforcing bars instead of working them into the walls. The city of Cologne had chosen not to employ an independent inspector. A lot of people must have been involved. This wasn't about a foreman swiping a few rods. It was more wide-ranging and must have involved more people. If someone is criminally minded, there is little you can do about it. But these things always get noticed. What would you do if someone offered you money not to look too closely? I wouldn't want to hear it. I'd leave the building site straight away and report it. It would be the end of me. Imagine if people started talking about me pocketing some money here and there. I'd be finished. There's no question of me doing that. It's time to start pouring the concrete. First of all, a sample is taken to be sent to independent inspectors. There it's allowed to dry for four weeks before being exposed to stress. The builders carry out their own tests. The last thing they want to do is rip the floor up again in a month. It's happened before, and it's hugely expensive. The test results are later sent to Markus Wetzel. He decides if the floor is stable enough. He's happy with the rod fixing work and signs off on it. Work at the site can continue. 155 tons of concrete are poured on this day, and there'll be much more to follow by the summer. Before the work is complete, the building inspector will have been and gone a few times as well. Yeah.